The state fair kicked off to a hot and sunny start yesterday, but yesterday night thunderstorms hit quickly, bringing heavy rain and wind gusts of up to 50 miles per hour, prompting officials to take action to keep fairgoers safe, eventually closing down the midway. News 5's Kelly Baumgarten is live at the state fair in Kelly. When did officials make that decision to close it down? Well, Lauren, right now most of the rides are still up and running. But around this time last night, the storm was about 10 miles away. That's when Midway officials made the decision to shut down the tall rides because of the nearby lightning. And then when the storm was two miles away, they decided to shut down everything. I just heard some screams coming down from the barns and a big gust of wind was coming in. And I looked down, I was actually picking up some of our stuff trying to get ready for it. And basically I saw a couple of umbrellas flying through the air. The Nebraska State Fair got off to a sunny start on Friday but ended with heavy rain, strong winds, and lightning. Umbrellas had flown off tables from the bar, and then also I saw one of the big tents for the food had, uh, half of it had fallen down. Those working at the fair said that when the storm did hit, it was chaos. Pretty much everybody was running around the fair, <laughs> trying to get into barns anywhere safe. Joseph McDermott is the executive director of the Nebraska State Fair. He says they were prepared for the storm. We started getting people out of tents, out of areas that we felt maybe weren't safe and getting them into the buildings. In the event of a weather emergency, State Patrol, a private security firm, and the National Weather Service are on site at the fairgrounds. All the experts are here, um, and so if need be, we can react very quickly um, to any approaching storm. The Midway decided to close their toll rides an hour early last night at 10 o'clock. There were some people still on the Midway thinking that the rides were going to reopen, but. Uh, you know, they, we, we didn't do that. Uh, it's for the own protection of our employees as well as the customers. And then by 10:15, they shut down everything. When those winds started coming in without the rain, is when we started uh, battening down the hatches and closing down rides. While there wasn't any serious damage, the storm did blow over a 20-foot rest area umbrella, knocked over tents, and flooded some areas. If you were here this morning, uh, about 9 o'clock, you'd see uh, a lot of stuff all over the place. You know, a lot of debris. A lot of ride fence, a lot of our privacy screening that we use. Now, the National Weather Service is predicting severe weather for next week. Officials with the Nebraska State Fair say they are redoubling their efforts to make sure their communication is in place and that they're prepared. <laughs> Reporting in Grand Island, I'm Kelly Baumgarten. Kelly Baumgarten live at the State Fair tonight for us. Look pretty frantic out there with all that rain last night. 